Robert O, and welcome to this Net Documents training video. This is our part two of our two part video series on ND Office. Today we're going to be looking at the connection between ND Office and Microsoft Outlook. What you'll see here is I'm currently in my email, um, and what we're going to be doing is profiling some of these emails using our ND Save feature. So First thing to point out before we start profiling is you'll see that I have a column here which is the ND location. This is very important because this shows me any of the emails that I've already profiled and obviously shows me because these other emails are blank, the other emails, those of which I have not profiled. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is click on my first email and come up here to my ND save option. For this example, this first one, we're just going to click on our save. What you'll see is that, again, <clears throat> I am presented with my recent locations. But just to highlight again how our connection to ND Office works, I'm coming in here to our settings gear once again and our settings option. And I just want to point out to you once again that in our navigation pane, we have a special drop down specifically for Microsoft Outlook. And in this example, since we're in the process of performing a save, it is showing me my recent locations just as we see displayed here on our profile window because of our setting that is set right here. So again, keeping in mind, you know, with Outlook, we have a, an additional option. Um, you know, our normal options, we really only have two, which is an open and save. But since this is built for Outlook, we have an attach a save, and a send and file. So just keep in mind you have those settings available to you on an individual user basis. So what we're going to do now, again, is we're just going to select my client matter here. You'll see that I have my email defaulted, and I'm just going to simply select save and close. As I select save and close, what you'll see is the system does display or let me know that that particular email has been profiled. Moving on to the next one, again, we're going to hit ND Save. <clears throat> For this example, we're going to make a change. We're, in this example, we're going to pretend that our title is really not what we're looking to save within our system. So we're going to use our little pencil here to change the name of <coughs> our email. Now keep in mind that when you change the name of an email, we are not changing the original name of an email. We are simply just changing the name that we will be presented with with inside of NetDocuments. Again, I can select my location that I'm going to save our email, and I can hit Save and Close. Something else I would like to point out to you is that I can profile multiple emails at once. So in this example, we're going to profile two of them. In this example, I'm going to select ND Save. And here are my two emails. So again, I can come on here and I can reprofile or rename them. The other thing that is available to us is not only can I select one location, but I can also select multiple locations. What you'll see is as I select different locations, the system starts to profile those, those locations individually per email. So again, pretty handy tool. So I'm going to go ahead and select Save and Close, <clears throat> and what you'll see is I've now profiled two different emails. <coughs> Next thing we're going to do is we're going to talk about attachments. So here's an email where I have an attachment, and so something I'm going to point out to you here is that if there is no real substance to the email that you need to save and you just are really focused on saving the attachment itself, we simply are just going to select the drop down button next to the attachment. And you'll see that we have an option for save to net documents. Once again, we're presented with our standard save as menu when we're saving a document. And I have the option to select where I'm going to save this particular, this particular document. I'm just going to select my client matter for my recent locations. <coughs> Something to point out, I obviously can change the name of the document if necessary. Go ahead and hit save 
And what I've done is just save that individual attachment. Now, let's say, in, let's say for example, that you need to actually save the content and the actual email itself. It's going to select that e particular email, come right back up to our ND save. And in this example, something I want to point out <coughs> is that we have a couple different options. So first thing I can do is I can leave this email selected. In this, in this um, case, I'm going to say this is an email <coughs> from client. And let's say that my image, my attachment that I'm going to be saving, I don't really love this name, for example. What I can do is I can toggle through these little options up here. So <clears throat> I can I can choose to save the entire email message first. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then and before we were hitting save and close, in this example, we're just going to simply select save. So I've now saved the entire email message. But now I can use my little toggle buttons and select what I'm going to be saving. So <clears throat> if I want to save the message and the image together, again, you can just toggle and, and basically toggle this little control here and select the text and attachments. Or if I just want to select the attachment itself, just toggle this way. If you don't like the toggle buttons, again, you can just simply select with your mouse pointer. In this example, I'm going to change my image. So let's just say that this is an image number one. <coughs> In this example, I'm going to just take my image, and instead of saving it straight to the client matter, let's just say that I want to save it inside a particular location. Let's just say this is marketing. Go ahead and hit save here, and I've now saved the attachment into marketing. And let's say that I want to select my message and save that into email. Once I've done this in my process, I would be done with profiling this email because I've saved the message, saved the image, and now I'm saving the, <clears throat> I'm sorry, the, I saved the attachment and I've saved the actual individual message. So I'm going to save it here and since I'm done, I'm going to hit save and close. So again, using my ND save, I have profiled the entire, this in this particular example of the entire email, the individual message, and the individual attachment. So this is an example of how we use our ND save feature and once again, how it connects into NetDocuments. I thank you so much for your time and joining me.